All right, here we go. In this video, we're going to use a two-channel oscilloscope. They have a circuit set up here, um, 120 volts, single phase, and it's connected to a transformer with a 6 to 1 turns ratio. Okay, so the primary coil has six turns of wire for every one turn of wire on the secondary coil. That's the ratio. So if you want to know what the voltage is on the secondary side, okay, where my mouse is, you take your 120 volts, you divide it by six, so we should be looking at 20 volts on the secondary coil. All right. Now oscilloscopes, I'm going to get a oscilloscope and drag it in here. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to go down to oscilloscope. The first type of oscilloscope is a two channel and then the one below it is a four channel. We'll look at that later. I'm going to click on the two channel oscilloscope. Now in the field, we use oscilloscopes for um, looking at voltage and current waveforms. We can look at distortions on waveforms and find out what kind of harmonics, uh, what the percentage of harmonic distortion we have in an electrical system, and then we can correct it. We can also use an oscilloscope for power quality and numerous other applications. Okay, We will be using an oscilloscope for power quality in our electronics program, so we need to understand how to apply them and how to set them up. Okay, So I've got my oscilloscope, and you're going to notice it has two channels, A and B. Okay, I'm going to hook up channel A. And I'm going to take the positive lead and put it above the lamp on the uh, ungrounded conductor and the negative lead from my oscilloscope and put it below the lamp on the grounded conductor. Now, does AC power have polarity or AC voltage? Does it have polarity? And some people say, no, it doesn't matter how you hook up the leads. Well, the correct answer to that question is it does have polarity but the polarity changes 60 times a second. You'll notice on this supply, it says plus minus. What happens is 60 times a second, these flip. This will be minus, this will be plus. 180 degrees will flip. I'm gonna show you a little demonstration to prove that out, okay? So this transformer does have polarity. It changes 60 times a second. Just keep that in mind, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> let's set up our oscilloscope. A couple of important things when we're looking at a oscilloscope. I'm going to double click on this scope. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn it on. We can set it up as we turn it on. Okay. I'm going to turn it on. And we have divisions on the screen. I'm going to reverse how my scope looks. Okay. I'm going to go with a white background. You can go black or white. I'm going to go with white. And what the first thing you have to tell yourself is when you're looking at an oscilloscope is that your vertical divisions represent voltage levels. Okay, the screen divisions across the screen represent time. Okay, so vertical divisions represent a voltage level, horizontal divisions represent time. So we need to set it up. Okay, so now we know we've got 20 volts and that's an RMS value and we need to convert that to a peak value so we can see the top of the waveform. If I take my calculator, if we take 20 and we multiply it by 1.414, which is the square root of 2, that will tell us the peak of the waveform, so, which is going to be around 28.2. 28.3 volts. So I'm looking at my vertical divisions here and it says I have on channel A a scale of 5 volts per division. So what do I have to do? I have to increase those so I can see the whole waveform. So we're going to click on channel A. We're going to change it to 10 volts per division which gets us up to 30. Now we can see where that 28 volts is right here. Now, <clears throat> the time scale is set to 10 milliseconds. I'm going to change that. I'm going to set it to 5 milliseconds because it widens things out for me and I can get a better understanding. That's, this, is, this is the number that I use in the field because each one of these cycles takes about 16 or 17 milliseconds, about 16.67 milliseconds. So if I set it 5 milliseconds per division, 
I can get a couple of waveforms on there and I can look for notches and distortions and so on. Okay, so always remember to set up your vertical scale to, to capture the voltage that you would expect to see. And we're talking an AC peak voltage, not an RMS value. Okay, and then set up your, your, your division, your time division across the screen. All right, so now we're looking at the waveform on that oscilloscope. I'm going to stop my simulation for a moment. Okay, uh, and you're going to notice that you have these um, what's called cursors. And if I slide these cursors, you're going to see a little, a little, um, I guess it, I can call it like a, a, a bullet or a ball that kind of follows it. It's a measuring device. So now I have it right at the top of the waveform. Okay, and it's cursor number two. Right, we have two. We can measure between the two cursors. We can measure. We can measure different values along the waveform. It could be a square wave you're looking at. You may need to know <clears throat> what the amplitude is. Now, I'm I'm looking at cursor number two. If I go down to here where it says cursor number two, it says 28.231 volts. Okay, so that that is what we calculated. We took our 20 volts RMS. We multiplied by root two. And we ended up with 28.28 or something like that so we're very close there okay so you can measure your amplitude by using those cursors okay i'm going to close this window for a sec and i'm going to show you uh, a measurement that will prove what we were talking about earlier does ac voltage have polarity and i said it does it changes 60 times a second i'm going to take channel b here and i'm going to hook it up opposite to a so i'm going to take my plus lead and I'm going to connect it to the uh, negative lead on the A. So I'm reading, a, a, my voltage reading is going to be 180 degrees out of phase, I guess we could say, with respect to A. My leads are flipped. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it. I'm going to double click on the scope. And channel B is set to 5, <coughs> sorry. 5 volts per division. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to change that so that it's the same scale as channel A, which is 10 volts per division. So I notice now channel A and channel B are the same scale, so we can compare them. So we can see that channel B is 180 degrees out of phase with respect to channel A at any given point, point in time. So AC does have polarity. Just changes okay i'm going to close this i'm going to show you one more thing using a two channel scope i have a circuit set up at the bottom of the wiring sheet okay same transformer i have a 20 volt bulb it's uh it's a 60 watt rating on it okay i should really have a higher voltage rating on it because if the voltage goes any higher than 20 it'll it'll blow up on us so um, this circuit has a has a lamp, okay, 60 watt lamp, and I have a switch in the circuit that shorts out this diode. Now a diode is a one-way electrical valve, so it only allows current to flow when the waveform is positive with respect to the other side. It's kind of hard to explain without going back into diode theory, but it only allows the positive alternation of the waveform to conduct if it's in the circuit. So what we did is we took this switch and we bypassed over the diode. If I turn the switch off, the diode will be in the circuit. So let's look at our oscilloscope right now. And the oscilloscope is looking at the voltage at the lamp. Okay, so we are seeing full AC voltage at the lamp. <clears throat> I have a watt meter in here, and it's measuring the current and the voltage in the circuit. We have a 60 watt load according to that lamp. Now, if this is a one way valve that only allows the positive alternation to conduct, it should only allow these positive alternations that are above that zero line to push current through that lamp. So if I take this switch and I turn it off, what do you suppose will happen? 
Let's have a look. Now, this is going to be a slight delay, so I'm going to click it off. And now you can see we only have the positive alternation across the lamp, so the lamp is going to be half as bright as it was. We're down to 27.726 watts. There's going to be a slight drop because there's a slight in power because we're going to lose a little bit of power through diode one. We're going to lose about 0.7 volts. So the voltage across the lamp is going to be slightly less, so our power is going to be slightly less. And this is how the old table lamps used to work. They had a switch in them, and you'd flip the switch, and the light would dim to half brightness. It used a diode in a blocked half the waveform. Okay, diodes are very useful in industry. We use them all over the place. Okay, so that's how we use a two-channel scope. We'll catch up in the next video.